welcome. I would like to take you on a quick tour on the new Manage tab on the Properties page, available with ArcGIS Pro 2.9 release, a new and efficient matter to enable geodatabase functionality on your data. But first, here is some context. In ArcGIS Pro 2.8 and previous releases, to manage your geodatabase functionality, you would simply right-click on the feature class and go to the Manage Contacts menu. Here, you could enable all geodatabase functionality, such as add global IDs, archiving, editor tracking, versioning, and attachment. However, with each capability you want to enable, you have to go back to the right-click context menu over and over. To improve data management productivity, we have redesigned the Manage Context menu full of options into a new single page. The first thing you will notice is that the point of entry is consistent with previous versions of Pro. Once you right-click a feature class and select the Manage option, it automatically launches the Properties page with a Manage tab active. This new page acts like a one-stop shop for viewing, enabling, and disabling all geodatabase functionality. This eliminates the redundant clicking and multiple returns to the contacts menu. One of the most exciting enhancements is the simplified branch versioning process, from a forced step to one click. Within the new Manage page, once you check the versioning box, the default version option is set to branch. This automatically enables all the required conditions for branch versioning, such as archiving, global IDs, and editor tracking, all within one click. Now, if I go back to the Properties page, I can check that the versioning type is indeed branch and ready to go. As you can see, this change is a massive boost to productivity and reduces the chance for user error. When working with featured datasets, you can now indicate feature classes in mixed state. Here, I am working with the safety dataset, where global IDs have already been enabled. And I would like to add bikeways feature class to my dataset. For this feature class, I have different type of capabilities enabled. Once I copy the feature class, add it to my dataset, and go back to the Manage page, I can clearly identify such states through the Mixed State checkboxes. Last but not least, for attributed relationships, you can now manage all geodatabase functionality on the intermediate table.